Hey, good morning, everyone. It is Terrific Tuesday. And like my good buddy uh, Jerry says, it is terribly Terrific Tuesday, and that certainly uh, it is. And uh, just looking forward to a great day. Let's rejoice and be glad uh, the day. Uh, th this is the day the Lord has made big changes uh, for me. I'm going back to my route today uh, from what I was doing before. And so uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm kind of excited about it, also kind of nervous about it. So let's uh, get that two minutes started. There we are. And uh, man, what a great uh, devotion this morning I had, uh, just uh, spending some time in the Word and reading that devotion that you that is posted here. And and uh, man, it's just really, it's really awesome to think about it. And you think about it, because I've, I've been in Israel. And so, you know, when I was in Israel, I thought about this story where and Jesus comes up to a, a well, and there's a Samaritan woman there, and he asks her for a drink, and he tells this woman, you know, anyone that drinks this water is what? Going to be thirsty again, but if you drink the water that I'm giving, living water, you'll never thirst again. And of course, the implication of that is what? That when we devote our life to the Lord, devote our life to uh, serving God, that we will always, always be refreshed. And I don't know about you, but I have discovered that, man, sometimes in life we get wore down, we get tired, we get uh, exhausted, overwhelmed, and uh, life just becomes uh, so stressful uh, in our lives that we just, you know, we just don't know which way to turn. But Jesus says, listen, if you come to me, that you can have that living water and it never, ever runs dry. Man, what a thought that is. And then he goes on down further in the same conversation with this woman. And he says to her, for God is spirit. So those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. Man, I asked a poll question this morning. Uh, how do you worship? What's your favorite way? Well, I got to be honest with you. My favorite way is listening to preaching, you know, and I like music some, uh, and I'm not discounting that. I know lots of folks that's Boy, they could just turn on the, the 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 gospel music and listen all day long. Not me. I'm going to listen to. I like it. I, it's okay, but I want to listen to some good, uh, good preaching and just something that just teaches me from God's word of what He says. You know, and that's that's where that's where I fall now. You know, I kind of like being out in nature and driving down the road. I'll do those too. But just being able to listen to something good. But whatever it is, we want to worship God in the truest sense that we can with a grateful heart. You know, I think about the past six months. I said this in my prayer. And, you know, <clears throat> man, I've been through a lot. I got down on my back. I laid in bed for six weeks. <clears throat> and then I, I caught the virus and, you know, was out with that for a couple weeks. <laughs> it's just, it was seemed like it was one thing after another uh, that took place. But I am grateful that God brought me through that and the lessons that I learned and the opportunities that I've had. And to me, a, the way that you can worship God is to come with come to him with a humble and grateful heart. If you see people and you've met people that just have no, um, you know, they, they just, they're just mad about everything and just ungrateful about anything, it just saddens me and it breaks my heart. Come to the Lord, worship him in a spirit of true worship and a spirit of humility and a spirit of gratitude and God will just bless your heart and you will never be thirsty again. Amen? Amen. Man, I hope that helps you out. Boy, it just charged me up and sent me off and I'm ready to go. God bless you guys. See ya.